Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th, okay? But we all know the timing is fluid, well, most of us do, right? So these readings, is, this is just an energy that I am picking up on that is coming in. Okay, these readings are timeless. It could happen for one person today and the next person tomorrow or in a week from now or whatever the case is. Um, I have started the March 1st through the 7th weekly readings and I'm going to be completing them in the next couple of days. So what do we have for a message today? If you have booked a reading with me, I have noticed that there's several of you that have not emailed me. It does say that when you book that you need to email me. So uh, if you intend on having the reading, please send me an email immediately. If you have booked. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Ooh, Ace of Coins. So this is long-term stability. Somebody has manifested something. This is huge. This is a gift. Somebody's going to be receiving a gift. It may, it may not seem like it's a gift, but it's a gift. This, whatever it is, it leads to financial success. It leads to stability and security. a solid opportunity that is coming in. Mm. Death reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Six of Coins reversed. And the Fool reversed. So we got we have four reversals here. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but you know, it is what it is. Anyhow, so we have something that needs to end. There's a lack of reciprocation. There's a lack of equality. Somebody's not getting what they deserve. There's a lack of balance. There's a fraud here with the six of coins reversed. There's foolish behavior with the full reverse. Somebody has been acting foolishly. They may have been taking something that's not theirs. This could be a thief, okay? Or somebody just isn't getting what they deserve. There's foolish behavior here. There could be a misunderstanding. Somebody has missed an opportunity. They have missed an opportunity probably because of foolishness. Um, page of Swords reversed. I feel like there's some um, bad news, okay? The Page of Swords reverse is a message that you don't want to hear. Somebody may be receiving a message they don't want to hear. There could be a mild conflict that is coming. Maybe this message is coming from somebody that it has already you've already ended something with. Okay, maybe, maybe there's some sort of, uh, I don't know if it's a disaster or what. It could be a disaster with the death card reversed, uh, mirroring the fool reversed. This is somebody acting recklessly. This is a con. This is a fraud that is trying to prove something. Okay. Could be a near death experience. I mean, I, the death reverse, I'm being honest with you. Okay. Um, the death card reverse, holding on is getting old. I do feel like we have somebody here that is hard to deal with, with the page of swords reverse. They may not, they may be playing mind games or they can't control their thoughts or something like that. Uh, this is a liar, okay? We definitely have a liar here that, I don't know, maybe this person has mental health issues. I don't know. But I do feel like somebody is uh, doing something foolish. And they're going to be headed down the path to stability because of their foolish behavior. You know, sometimes it takes a hard lesson for somebody to, somebody to go down that path to, to stability. Um, there's been an abuse of power here with the Six of Pentacles reversed. Uh, somebody hasn't been doing, they haven't been putting, putting in much effort, they haven't been giving what they need to give. There's been an abuse of, 
generosity or an abuse of power. Um, somebody's angry by the looks of things with a page of swords reversed. That's somebody that is uh, agitated. I feel like we have somebody here that is agitated. And they're taking an opportunity as well. Okay, so be careful with any gift that you receive. Anyhow, this is the, when you get the page of swords reversed, this is somebody that is, is uh, probably pretty immature, that likes to step on other people's toes, that is, well, I already said immature, I was going to say childish. Um, I feel like there's going to be an unexpected conflict. Somebody may be caught off guard. They may be caught off guard by, I don't know, it could be theft or somebody, a fraud or a con. Be careful. Be careful. You could, I'm telling you what, what I do, somebody needs to be careful. They may be receiving something, a gift, okay? And it may look like a gift, but I'm not exactly sure that it is a gift. Uh, it may not, but then, again, but then again, it does lead, because Ace of Pentacles is, is, is a golden opportunity that leads to stability. Somebody hasn't been receiving they haven't been receiving what they deserve hmm. Hmm. unprepared somebody is unprepared there there could be you know there could be a fall okay a, a fall from grace or a fall from power just saying there could be, there could be some sort of, uh, you know, new beginning that isn't going to last. And I hate to say that, but with the death card reversed, so this holding on is getting old. It's time to release. It's time to let go. Uh, somebody's having a hard time letting go. They've probably bitten off more than they can chew. They're agitated. They may be spying. You know, they, they're definitely, feels like they're working behind the scenes. Hmm. Page of coins reversed. So this is this is uh, somebody that is foolish. Definitely foolish. We have foolish behavior here that lacks common sense. Doesn't want responsibility. This is a dead end. It is a dead end. Somebody is going to do something foolish. They're taking an opportunity. They may, and they may be presenting this opportunity as a gift or something like that, but I don't feel like it's really a gift. This is taking away. Something's being taken away. Um, and they may be agitated because something's been taken away. Could be an opportunity that they thought they were going to get. Oh, somebody may be upset over an opportunity that they thought they were going to get. And now, and now I feel like uh, there's some, but that death card reverse, there's, this could be a disaster. Just got to be honest with you. Extremes when cards come out and reversed. So there's, there could be an extreme fall of some sort, you know, because the fools, somebody's going to fall. It's like falling off a cliff, you know, and getting hurt. Um, Loss of stability. Somebody has lost an opportunity that they thought they were going to get. It's it's interesting. It's very, very, very interesting. Um, there's some sort of misunderstanding. There is a misunderstanding here. You have somebody here that's not very practical. They're not very grounded. They're not very stable. They don't put in much effort. They lose sight of their goal. And it feels like they thought they were going to get an opportunity. They're not getting the opportunity. And now they're agitated. They may be spying. And they're unwilling to let go. I don't know. 
I think there's strong control issues here. We got somebody here that is not very free spirited. They're not very faithful. They're not very um, giving. This person is stubborn, extremely stubborn. And they're unwilling. They haven't learned some sort of lesson. But they're going to be going down a path to stability. Because they are going, and this could be losing a job. I don't know. It could be losing a job, losing something. They are going to be losing something. And you, know, and, and you think about the death card. Endings lead to new beginnings. And somebody has been holding on to something that is dead. Okay? And it's been dead. And this holding on is getting old. And it's time to let it go. But we have somebody here that has definitely lost sight of their goal. Hasn't been able to leave the baggage and start their new journey. Think about the fool upright. That is when somebody says, all right, I'm leaving the baggage behind. I'm starting my new journey and I'm not taking this with me. We have somebody here that is unwilling to leave the baggage. And we talked about this yesterday. They're unwilling to let it go. And they need to let go because there is an opportunity for stability and security and abundance and success. Consider this a gift. The, the fact that this person isn't reciprocating or isn't giving you, you know, what you deserve, consider a gift. They probably have a wandering eye. They're not faithful. They're not interested. Let them go. Be real. Be practical. This is a reality check. So anyhow, I do believe on this day, somebody's gonna be getting a reality check. They may be caught off guard. They may try to communicate with somebody that doesn't wanna communicate with them. And they're gonna feel like a fool for doing so. Anyhow, this is foolish behavior. Reckless behavior. There is reckless behavior here. We have, some, have somebody that is unwilling, totally unwilling to go after what they deserve. And they're going to be dealing with an unexpected conflict. This is a dead end. There's a blockage standing in the way of success. Somebody needs to focus. And, and you know, this is like laziness. Not being treated equally. Somebody's not being treated as an equal. They're not getting the reciprocation from an individual that they can't let go of. Just being honest. And this holding on is definitely getting old. I feel like there's going to be an incident. I do. I feel like there's going to be an incident that, you know, give somebody a reality check. Anyhow, a reality check is coming. The lovers, an unexpected choice in love. So this is a choice. This is a card of consequences and it's a, it's a card of a contract. There is another option. There is another option. It may not be who you think it is, but it's a perfect match. So this is a major choice that is being made in regards to love. It is. This is like an angel bringing two people together. These two people are meant to be. They have the shared values. They have a lot in common. This is a blessing. So there is an angel that is bringing two people together, okay?
but it will require you to leave the baggage behind and release the dead end. So this is a new contract and this could, you know, and I see this right here, could, could even be a job offer. It doesn't have to be a lover. It's a new partnership. Somebody is going to be uh, getting together with something that brings them harmony. This is a choice that you will have to make. Are you ready to start your new journey or do you want to keep holding on to something that is dead? Somebody is being blocked from a perfect connection, the connection that they deserve. because they will not release. And there is another option. Somebody, consider it a blessing in disguise because there is somebody here that is perfect. Could be a Gemini, could be a Gemini, could be an Aries, could be a Scorpio, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Anyhow, there is an opportunity that leads to success right here. It does, it leads to abundance. This is a gift. You will, have, but the choice is always yours. The choice is always yours. You can choose to not let go of the past or the baggage or whatever it is that you're holding on to, or you can choose to start your new journey. So anyway, I feel like on this day there is going to be there could be um, a new connection. A new partnership, a new union that is very, very harmonious. This is a yes answer. Take it. This could real. This is something you can take to the bank. This is something that you can hold on to. Somebody has lost sight of their goal. They have. It's time to refocus. Refocus on getting what you deserve. Refocus on your value. Refocus on your worth. So anyway, on this day, somebody is manifesting. It's they're manifesting a connection that is perfect. But it definitely is going to require letting go. Letting go. You can't, you can't bring the past with you. The past has to be released. It has to be. Somebody's not being real. They're not being practical at all. They may be thinking, foolishly thinking. They're not being practical. They're being foolish. They're not being logical. They may be foolishly thinking they're going to have a reunion with somebody from their past. I know a lot of you didn't like that. There is another opportunity here. It is a huge one. It is something that is real. The choice is yours. This will be something that you do not see coming. Okay, you will not see coming. You will be caught off guard by this connection you won't even be looking for it okay um it may have something to do with a bank um or a new job king of coins it's interesting i said it might have something to do with the bank king of coins can certainly be a banker it doesn't have to be but this is somebody who has money Okay, that is stable, that is solid, that is secure, that is uh, loyal, typically. You know, this is somebody that is uh, hardworking. Look at that. This is somebody that has worked hard for everything that they have.
looks to me like this person is about to give something of value. They're about to give an offer. They've been waiting. They've been waiting for the perfect match. They have been. They've been waiting. I mean, the King of Pentacles is somebody that doesn't just jump. This is somebody that moves slow, that isn't fly by the seat of their pants, you know, that isn't in a hurry. This person, you know, takes time to choose. This is a very practical individual that is uh, very solid, very stable. That wants something long term. This person has a, knows their value and has a lot to offer. So I do feel like we have somebody that is uh, looking at a connection. They are definitely looking at a connection. And they are about to make some sort of proposal. Whether it's a job proposal or it's a love proposal. I feel like this person is fearful though. They are fearful. They are fearful and they're fearful because of their past. And they've probably been alone for a while. I don't think this is somebody that has just gotten out of a relationship. I feel like this is somebody that has uh, been working, focusing on their job, focusing on their business, focusing on, you know, um, their own stability. This isn't somebody who jumps from relationship to relationship to relationship, you know. So anyway, I do believe that somebody is going to be receiving an offer from an individual that is, is probably fearful. They're probably fearful of commitment. This is lack of commitment. This is somebody that um, has probably been watching. They have been watching. And they are about to uh, connect in some way. They are going to connect. There's going to be a connection here. And it feels like you should accept them. Accept, accept. This is a perfect match between two people that have a lot in common. And, the, and these two people are being brought together by an angel, okay? And it may be, it may seem like it's bad timing. It's not bad timing. It's time to let go of the past and fall in love, right? Yes. Anyhow, um, so I do believe somebody's going to receive a message that they may not, you know, be ready for. They may not be ready for it. You know, they may not be ready for a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. They may not be ready for it. it comes, it's totally unexpected. I know that it is. It comes out of nowhere. So that is what's coming. It's really going to shake you up at the tower and it's reverse. This is extremely shocked. So somebody is going to be extremely shocked by this proposal. You know, and I don't know if it's a, I wouldn't say that, I mean, it could be, I wouldn't say it's a wedding proposal, a proposal or an invite or an offer or whatever it is. Could be job offer as well. Somebody is, a new contract is starting, put it that way. There's a new contract that is about to begin. The answer is yes. Take it. It's time. Good luck.